This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of logarithmic differentiation. When calculating the derivative of complicated functions that include product quotient or powers, the method of simplifying the expression using logarithms and then differentiating is called logarithmic differentiation. Solution 1. Using logarithmic differentiation, y equals x to the power of x, take natural logarithms of both sides, then ln y equals ln x to the power of x. Ln y equals x can go down, then x times ln of x. Then d dx of ln y equals d dx of x times ln of x. Differentiating implicitly with respect to x, 1 over y times y prime equals x prime times ln of x plus x times ln of x prime, then 1 over y times y prime equals 1 times ln of x plus x times 1 over x, then y prime equals y times ln of x plus 1, then y prime equals y was x to the power of x, then times ln of x plus 1. Or solution 2, y equals x to the power of x is the same as x to the power of x to the power of 1 equals x to the power of x to the power of ln e. Using the logarithmic property, we can change x and e. Then we can rewrite as e to the power of x ln of x, then y prime equals d dx of e to the power of x equals e to the power of x, then we can think of it as d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Now this part is u, e to the power of x ln x times x ln x prime equals e to the power of x times ln of x times, using the product rule, x prime ln x plus x times ln x prime equals e to the power of x ln x was x to the power of x, then x prime equals 1, then ln of x plus x times 1 over x, which is 1. So we have the same answer as in solution 1. Question 2. Take natural logarithms of both sides. Then ln of y equals ln of sine of x to the power of cosine of x. Then ln of y equals take cosine of x down. Then cosine of x times ln of sine of x, then d dx of ln of y equals d dx of cosine of x times ln of sine of x. Then differentiate implicitly 1 over y times y prime equals using the product rule cosine of x prime times ln of sine of x plus cosine of x times ln of sine of x prime equals minus sine of x times ln of sine of x plus cosine of x times d dx of ln of x equals 1 over x then d dx of ln of u equals 1 over u times u prime. Now this part is u, then 1 over sine of x times sine of x prime equals minus sine of x times ln sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x times cosine of x, then times y on each side y prime equals y times minus sine of x ln of sine of x 
plus this one is cotangent x times cosine of x. The final answer is y was this sine x to the power of cosine of x times minus sine of x ln of sine of x plus cotangent of x times cosine of x. Question 3. Take natural logarithms of both sides. Then ln of y equals ln of, ln of x to the power of square root of x. Then we can rewrite as ln of y equals square root of x times ln of, ln of x. Then d dx of ln y equals using the product rule d dx of square root of x times ln of ln of x plus square root of x times d dx of ln of ln of x. Then differentiate implicitly 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over 2 square root of x times ln of ln of x plus square root of x times d dx of ln of x equals 1 over x. We can think of it as d dx of ln of u equals 1 over u times u prime. Then this part is u now. Then 1 over ln of x times ln of x prime. Then 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over 2 square root of x times ln of ln of x plus square root of x over ln of x times 1 over x. Then times y on each side, then y prime equals y times ln of ln of x over 2 square root of x plus square root of x over x times ln of x. The final answer is y prime equals y was this one ln of x to the power of square root of x times ln of ln of x over 2 square root of x plus square root of x over x ln of x. Question 4. Take natural logarithms of both sides. ln of y equals ln of x to the power of arc sine of x. Then we can rewrite as ln of y equals arc sine of x times ln of x. Then d dx of ln of y equals using the product rule d dx of arc sine of x times ln of x plus arc sine of x times d dx of ln of x. Then differentiate implicitly 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared times ln of x plus arc sine of x times 1 over x. Then y prime equals y times ln of x over square root of 1 minus x squared plus arc sine of x over x. The final answer y prime equals y was this one and x to the power of arc sine of x times ln of x over square root of 1 minus x squared plus arc sine of x over x. Question 5. Take natural logarithms of both sides. ln of y equals ln of tangent of x to the power of ln of x. ln of y equals, take this down, then ln of x times ln of tangent of x. d dx of ln of y equals d dx of 
ln of x times ln of tangent of x. Differentiate implicitly 1 over y times y prime equals using the product rule ln of x prime times ln of tangent of x plus ln of x times ln of tangent of x prime 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over x times ln of tangent of x plus ln x times d dx of ln of x equals 1 over x. Think of it as d dx of ln of u equals 1 over u times u prime. Now this is the u part. 1 over tangent of x times tangent of x prime. Then y prime equals y times ln of tangent of x over x plus ln over x over tangent of x times secant square root of x. The final answer is y was this one tangent x to the power of ln of x times ln of tangent of x over x plus ln of x times secant square root of x over tangent of x. This is the last one. Take natural logarithms of both sides. ln of y equals ln of 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 times x cubed plus 1 to the power of 5 equals, using the logarithmic property, you can rewrite as ln of 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 plus ln of x cubed plus 1 to the power of 5 equals, take 4 down, then 4 ln of 3x plus 2 plus take 5 down 5 times ln of x cubed plus 1 then d dx of ln of y equals d dx of 4 ln of 3x plus 2 plus d dx of 5 times ln of x cubed plus 1. Differentiate implicitly. 1 over y times y prime equals 4 times 1 over 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2 prime plus 5 times 1 over x cubed plus 1 times x cubed plus 1 prime. Then 1 over y times y prime equals 4 over 3x plus 2 times, that one is 3, plus 5 over x cubed plus 1 times, this one is 3x squared. Then y prime equals y times, 4 times 3 equals 12, over 3x plus 2 plus 5 times 3x squared is 15x squared over x cubed plus 1. The final answer y prime equals y was this one. 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 times x cubed plus 1 to the power of 5 times 12 over 3x plus 2 plus 15x squared over x cubed plus 1. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, read them in a comment below and I will address them in the future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.